Hello and welcome to another episode of the e-commerce coffee break podcast. Today we're talking about video and how to make videos shoppable. We talked about that in the past, but today we want to really do a deep dive there and find out how shoppable videos amplify engagement and conversions. With me on the show today, I have Dario Albergetti. He is the founder and CEO of Showday. That's an all-in-one video commerce platform tailored for Shopify brands. Additionally, Dario has been the founder and CEO of 100, a D2C health and wellness brand backed by the same investors behind HelloFresh, Farmer Stock, Impossible Foods and Pros. He's also a pivotal member of the founding team of Atlantic Food Labs, taking on the role of managing director. With his passion for e-commerce, Dario is dedicated in helping brands to unparalleled growth through video e-commerce. So he has really a depth um, insight and overview of what helps with video. And that's what we're going to talk about. Hi, Dario. How are you today? Hi, Klaus. Good. Thank you. Excited to chat. Dario, video is a big topic, and I don't think a lot of people do not really recognize how much video they consume while they're on the interwebs. And um, obviously, there is a um, good chance to get them from video into shopping, and that's what you're doing. Give me a little bit of an idea why video has become so important. I mean, if you think about how we as consumers evolved in, in, in consuming content, you know, it's all started like with social media initially. I mean, Twitter was text-based and then Facebook, which is image-based and Instagram came, which is entirely natively in image. And then it turned into video and then TikTok came, right? So essentially from 2019 onwards, like with a massive explosion of TikTok, we are uh, real pushing on reels and so on. We've been, kind of educated uh, on consuming content by video, right? And so while on social media that became actually a standard, um, there's still a big gap between that consumer behavior on the social media versus what you find on the, on websites in general, e-commerce or not, which is very much still the same shopping experience as 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So there's basically a break. You see something on video and then you have to go and find it where you can buy it. And I think with Showday, Showday IO, you came up with a very nice solution. I tested it earlier today and how to merge these two things together. How does that work? Essentially, we enable brands to embed, shop, to take, for example, video UGC they already have or other videos that they produce and put it onto their e-com stores and, and make it shoppable, right? So that eventually... Um, a, a customer can go on the on the on the product page, on a landing page, engage with the video, and buy directly from it. That's uh, we that's something that before doing show day, we built internally with my old company. We should, we saw a lift in conversion rate, and that's actually how eventually I got into into the idea of starting show day. Mm -hmm. Not not every marketer is a video editor. Uh, I think very few are. Uh, talk to me a little bit on, on the process from the technical side, from the implementation process. How can I imagine how that does work? Uh, it's it's super simple. Like we are we're a Shopify app, so you just download the app from the Shopify app store, and then once you actually have it installed, you, we have a guided like onboarding. So essentially, you can upload videos that you have. You can directly fetch it from your Instagram or TikTok because we build connections for that. And then very simply, because we are connected with your Shopify store, you can find the products that you want to tag. And then and then it's a, just an app block for your Shopify team. So in one click, you, you just embed it there. Mm -hmm. I think the best way to understand is um, a real life example. So do you have any case studies on how brands are using this in their own business? Oh, yeah, definitely. So Lashify is one of our customers. They started... Uh, they started a few months ago actually doing live shows because we actually are the only one uh, only app on the Shopify app store that can do live shopping shows and shoppable video at the same time. And we're actually about to release also an integration with a main Shopify app so that we actually one of the few apps that got approved to be natively integrated into the Shopify shop app so that brands can actually embed shoppable video there and, and customers can buy um, it's, it's, um, from, a from, a, oh wait, I, can you repeat actually, I forgot, I forgot the question when I went. Do, do I you have any case, case, do you have any yeah. case study of a brand using this? And so Lashify started with doing a live shows with, with us, um, essentially for them, it's very important the educational aspect. It's a, it's a large beauty brand from, from LA that sells fake slashes. So the whole aspect of removing uh, and applying easily lashes, that's very important for them. So they started with that. And then they saw actually that the community 
really was engaged and, 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 and it did it created a lift in conversion rate. So they started actually taking generating videos in half very simply with just a phone. And they started actually embedding videos onto the individual product pages. Specifically for them, they saw a 21% conversion lift. Um, and the other advantage is because in one video you can tag multiple products. At that point, you can also increase AOV lift. This is just one of the use cases that we've seen with other clients. What we've noticed is that one of the main thing is landing pages, right? So landing pages is something that you can easily A-B test. So in that case, if your clients are actually doing A-B test by embedding shoppable video on a landing page, and also we see up to like 25% conversion lift. A lot, of course, uh, depends also on your marketing concept and the quality of the video, but essentially video is just a better, it's just a better um, UX for explaining a, a product, right? Um, a lot of, when I speak to merchants a, a lot every day, one of the number one concern that they have is that they, their customers, they just don't read the product detail pages and they just don't read text. Video is actually, it's a great solution for our setting because imagine putting a video that is exactly like an Instagram story onto a product page, you can, you know, there's no need to read the whole thing. You got the, you got the whole story of the product. You can embed video reviews for, you know, social proof, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Now with video, you say you can have it on a product detail page to help with explaining what the product is. And obviously there's all the other platforms that you mentioned earlier. Do you see specific styles of videos that work better on one platform than another? Uh, what do you mean with platform? Um, compared to a product detail page, having a video there and having one on TikTok, what kind of um, strategies do you see that brands doing there to get people to shop from these specific platforms? Yeah, essentially we see, so there are a few use cases that are very solid. Like the landing page one, that's, that's the first one uh, that I always recommend with merchants also because it's a very easy lift. You can take video UGC that you already have or video product videos that you generated in-house and embed it onto the, onto the landing page. On the product page, that's the other part that works very well is that you can embed video reviews there. You can embed explainer of the videos. If you're a beauty brand, you can even embed like before and after or tutorials in a video format, which is much more engaging on the landing, on the individual product pages, right? And we have all different formats in terms of some brands that prefer to have uh, a mini player. So the little video popping up on the bottom part, right? Um, other brands that prefer to have the stories format, other brands that prefer to have a carousel format. So all these things are like discretionary to the brand. Um, and another interesting part, it's a module that we just launched um, that can help with paid media is that a lot of our brands, especially the larger ones, because we started working with large enterprise clients like New York and Crow, Lord and Taylor, they do advertorial. And so, which essentially they do a sponsor article on a publisher website. Um, now with us, they have the possibility to actually embed a shoppable video onto the publisher website and the readers can buy directly from it. So that's essentially shortening the path to purchase, increasing conversion rate. So that's a kind of like some of the use cases that we see. We've seen brands also pushing a certain product drop or a certain promotion, and they have added a mini player on the homepage. So when, when the customers like arrive on the website, they see the mini player playing and it's pushing that specific problem. It really depends also from brand to brand and industry to industry. Mm -hmm. As we're on a podcast here, um, we cannot really show what it is unless you're on YouTube. Talk me through the, the process, the user experience, if somebody sees uh, the video, what, what's happening next? Essentially, imagine like, uh, imagine like, for example, the story is format, right? You go on a product detail page or you go on, on the website and you, you see the little bubbles and customers can actually click it. And it's similar as an Instagram reel, they can actually see the videos on the video, there's an overlay where the product is featured. And if someone clicks the overlay, actually can buy directly the product without ever leaving the video. Okay. And then it takes you directly to the checkout, I reckon, or? 
we build the cart in, in the video directly. And if someone initiates the checkout at that point, it's redirected to the Shopify checkout. Okay, excellent. One um, concern that a lot of merchants have is site speed. How does that impact site speed? What um, can I expect there? That's something that every merchant asks. <laughs> we actually like like kept that in mind. Like we, we built and we optimize for site speed in the sense that we don't load the videos when there's a page refresh. We actually wait that the customer clicks on the video and then and then it just starts loading. So we have little to no impact on on page speed. Okay. Next question would be, how can I track the results of the videos? As you said, it's embedded into the video. Is there any kind of reporting tool that I can find out what the engagement is? Yeah, definitely. We have like a whole analytics section, which um, which tracks all the classic conversion metrics, the entire funnel from product detail to add to cart to conversion rate. Uh, we have like all the analytics in terms of engagements, in terms of how many views the video has, um, number, like amount of time that has been watched and all this, all this in-depth analytics. Yeah, because ultimately it's a tool for lifting conversion rate optimization. So we want to show the merchant all the, you know, all the lift that it can generate. Mm -hmm. How does it integrate from um, the look and feel from the branding perspective into a Shopify store? Is there any things that you need to can tweak? It's completely customizable. So you just we have a section on on our dashboard where you can completely customize the look and feel, and then the merchant can just yeah customize this parameter and add it in one click. Okay. Is there a kind of learning curve? How much time do I invest or need do I need to invest before I can get started? Um, we have <laughs> many times when I do onboarding calls, uh, which last 30 minutes, the merchant just did it themselves. It's pretty fast. Very intuitive. Okay, that sounds great. Um, tell me a little bit about the pricing. How does that work? We have different we have different tiers of pricing. So I mean, there's a free plan, so you can there's a 14 days free trial um, where you have access to the entire platform. Then we start with a free like a free tier that you can do everything that you want, but you only have 500 views per month. Then there's a higher tier, uh, which is our entry paid entry tier. It's $49 a month. And this gives you access to 5,000 included views, unique views per month. And this is views, not impressions. Um, and uh, any extra view, it's $10 per thousand views. Then the higher tier for our larger customers is $299 per month that gives you 50,000 unique views per month and any extra view is $10 per thousand views. And then we have custom plans for the large enterprise clients. Mm -hmm, makes sense. You mentioned before that you will add or you have live streaming. Um, I, I find this very interesting. How does that work? Live streaming, essentially, we do have a mobile app that you can use to, to go live. So the host can use to go live. And uh, and at that point, essentially, you can you can you can have a moderator, or the host can do everything. You can reply to comments. You can feature the products at a certain time. All you need is a mobile app. Uh, is our mobile app? You can also use if you want an external camera, um, in case you prefer like a more complex setup. And then when you go live, it goes live on your website. So every customer that it's on your website will see the mini player coming up during the live. And from that mini player, they can chat, they can they can comment, they can buy. But at the same time, also we built something which we which built a simulcasting feature. So essentially, you can stream your the live show not only on your website, but also simultaneously onto your Facebook and YouTube accounts uh, at the same time. And people just by commenting, they can actually buy a product from the live show. I like that. So that's a really nice. Uh -huh. So they never they never leave Facebook to to buy if that's where they're watching the live. Okay, that's an excellent solution. I think a lot of merchants will love that uh, because live is obviously something where it always was difficult to um, get people because they would leave basically the live stream and go somewhere else, and all they can do it was in the live stream. Excellent solution there. Where can people find out more about you guys? Uh, go on showday.io and you can find all our case studies that shows the left, um, all the different modules that we've built and all the pricing instructions. Okay, I will That's put right. the links in the show notes as always and just one click away. 
Dario, thanks so much for giving us an overview. I think video is and will be growing a, a big channel for a lot of brands out there and having the chance that they can have the product right into the video. Um, I think that's a, a game changer. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Hey, Klaus here. Before you go, I would like to invite you to become part of the e-commerce Merchant Pro community to get actionable advice from other Shopify merchants who already have achieved what you are aiming for. Our community is a safe place to actively grow your online retail business with the support of the most amazing and helpful group of e-commerce entrepreneurs behind you. Running a Shopify business is tough. Don't do it alone. Join us now. You will find the link in the show notes. Also, if you think your online store has conversion or marketing issues and you would like to have a fresh set of eyes on your business, then drop me an email at klaus at klauslauter.com and let me know a little bit about your business. It might be beneficial for you to have me look over your store, offers, emails, and ads and get an unbiased outside perspective and guidance to help you make most of your online business. Thank you as always for tuning in today. I appreciate you until next time and I talk to you soon.